During a one-mile march through some of the roughest blocks of Baltimore, students and youth advocates applaud a new city-sponsored program, the Children and Youth Fund. A lot of these youth feel unloved, unwanted, and unimportant, and it's important for us as a community to change that. City voters approved the fund last year. Councilman Zeke Cohen helped organize the rally in advance of final council approval on how the money will be distributed. We're talking about a $12 million per year fund that community will allocate. No one is doing that across the country. It is truly unique. Anyone in this room, if you work with young people. At Frederick Douglass High School after the march, a detailed presentation laid out how a panel of community members and youth advisors will select who will get grant money. After the 2015 riots, concerns were raised by many in the community over the lack of opportunities for the city's youth. President Jack Young's idea for the fund is supported by Congressman Elijah Cummings. We need something like this so that, number one, these uh, folks who are, have the passion to lift our children up can do it. And number two, it's also being able to grow so that you can go to philanthropic organizations and get money. Programs that could benefit include the Penn North Kids Safe Zone, which provides children from the surrounding neighborhood plagued with crime a secure environment. What this youth fund would do for us is sustain us. You know, without the donations that I have right now, my biggest fear is that these kids will turn the doorknob and we not be here. Now, assuming that the city council continues moving forward, a panel will begin meeting in January, and then some of those smaller neighborhood organizations that have been looking for cash for many of them for many years could start seeing money sometime in the middle of next year. Adam May, WBAL, TV 11 News. Adam,